Hi there, this is Teresa. We are going to do an all signs, no contact reading. We're gonna see what is going on. We're gonna look at Aries through Pisces. If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address and my website are listed down below. I will write the timestamps down, so if you are watching this, you can skip around to the zodiac sign. Okay, Aries, let's see the person you're not in contact with. What is going on? Okay, so we have breakup, synchronicities, and wedding. Okay, so Aries, this could be somebody that you were supposed to have a future with. This is somebody that maybe you were with for a long time, but something happened where the two of you are in separation now, and you could be seeing a lot of signs. Maybe you're seeing this person's name everywhere. Maybe you're seeing numbers that remind you of the wedding date you were supposed to have. You could be seeing a lot of two, two, twos. So let's find out what happened in the recent past. Okay, so there was some type of situation where you thought there was going to be a new beginning. Something was going to be very passionate between the two of you, but something transpired and caused this huge breakup. What's going on in the present moment? Okay, so you're trying to figure out with the time that you've invested, you want to reap the rewards. You want to reap the benefit of that time that you have put into it. So because you or your person is seeing a lot of these signs and synchronicities, they could be wanting to invest into the connection again also. Let's see what's going to happen in the near future. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries. This is somebody who they want to take back control of the situation. They want to be able to gain the truth and clarity. Yeah, this person still loves you. They want to open up these lines of communication with the Eight of Swords, King of Cups, and the Page of Swords. This person will break the ice because they are hurt while the two of you are in separation. They are feeling the loss of this connection because they are thinking about this, this long-term commitment and this vow that the two of you were supposed to make together for the future. So this person is gaining a little bit of knowledge and information about this time that they've invested in the connection while you're in no contact, but they are going to open up and be able to want to have a conversation with you about it. Okay, Taurus. All right, Taurus. The person you're not in contact with. What is their overall energy? Okay, so we have liquid courage, family, spiritual awakening, and hookup. Okay, so Taurus, this is somebody who maybe their behavior got really weird in the past, the recent past. This is something that maybe you thought you were bonding, you thought you were growing together. But this something happened where it triggered this person within this connection to actually go outside of the connection. So let's find out what happened in the recent past. Yeah, this person was very indecisive on what they should do. So they could have been drinking a lot. They could have been partying a lot, doing things with other people that they should not have been doing. As far as the present moment, this person is going through a major life lesson. I can tell you that. They are in their heart chakra is fully open. This is somebody who feels that they really want to open up and express these feelings and emotions because they are having this spiritual awakening. They are recognizing that they destroyed the connection between the two of you. So let's see in the near future. Okay, so we do have the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups. So this person is conflicted on whether or not you would even take them back after what they have done when it comes to the connection. Yeah, they're not real hopeful and optimistic that you would actually be open and receptive to it. They're not going to take any action yet because they are still stuck in their head. They are having a lot of remorse and regrets over the choices and decisions that they had made. Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see if your person you're in no contact with, what is the overall energy? Okay, so we do see anxiety, hookup, and social media. So 
this person while you're in separation could have a lot of thoughts and feelings about maybe they're stressed that you are talking to someone else or that you're hooking up with somebody else this is somebody who may be checking your social media they could also be trying to spy on you just to kind of see if you're on any dating apps especially if you met them on a dating app they might be trying to see if you're still on the dating app let's see what happened in the recent past yeah, this person decided that they were going to go into hermit mode. They had some secret feelings and emotions that they did not want to express. They were hopeful and optimistic that maybe things were going to work, but you were very different. So something happened with this person in the present moment. They're thinking that they need to say something. They're thinking that maybe they need to open up the lines of communications. This is somebody who... Yeah, in the near future, they want to send you a message because they want to try to come back together. They want to either be friends or they want to try to at least come together and have this conversation. I'm hearing when pigs fly, there's a pig on the top of that card. So you could have maybe, you could be thinking that while you're watching this video, like I'm not taking that person back when pigs fly. So, or maybe they feel that you would never talk to them again, especially if they ghosted you. All right, Cancer no contact let's see what is your person's energy what is the truth and clarity of the no contact situation between cancer and their person okay text message liquid courage grass is greener and toxic relationship so this person could feel that they could be thinking about the text messages the correspondence you had in the past they could be feeling like their confidence was on top of the world. Maybe you really boosted them up. Maybe you gave them a lot of recognition. But they started to feel a little bit like they needed more. And they maybe felt like they deserved somebody who treated them even more than what you already gave them. Which you probably already gave them a lot. But this person misunderstood that and kind of took that their ego and their pride into thinking that they could get someone else that maybe makes more money, is more attractive, has a... A better job I mean there was something else status wise that this person thought because they got you that they could get somebody else that was better so let's see what happened in the recent past yeah this person really judged the situation and really tried to align with you because of the way you made them feel in the present moment they're trying to decide what they're gonna do they're trying to decide what actions they may or may not take when it comes to opening up lines of communication in the near future they may actually have an honest conversation with you. Um, I feel like the, this person is watching you and observing what you're doing, even though they are looking outside of this connection at other people and other options, they're still jealous that you may find somebody better than them before they try to come back to you because they are gonna try to come back to you, Cancer. Yeah. They're trying to juggle the pros and cons of what they should do. But this person here, they're in deep contemplation because they're gonna be very honest if they come back to you that you're not gonna get better than them is what they think. But be, they're the ones who left because they thought the grass was greener. So be aware of that, Cancer. Okay, Leo. All right, Leo, what is the person you're not in contact with? What is their energy? Leo's person's energy that they're not in contact with. Okay, so we have romantic feelings, unexpected, social media, and unfinished business. So Leo, your person that you're not in contact with, whether you're not talking to them or they're not talking to you, if I can get the cards up so you can see them, um, this person in the recent past had a lot, had fallen in love with you and had a lot of romantic feelings for you. Um, maybe they did not expect things to go the way they did, especially if you broke up with them and then you just went completely silent. This person felt like this was very unexpected. Maybe this was out of the norm. Maybe they feel like they're checking your social media, they're trying to spy on you, but they still feel like things are unfinished. They feel like all this back and forth in their mind that things are not truly over. So let's see what happened for Leo. What happened in the recent past? Okay. 
Okay, so there was a lot of passion and chemistry with this person that the two of you shared. So this person, maybe you viewed this connection, Leo, just as a um, intimate connection and this person actually fell in love with you. In the present moment, this person is really stressed out. They feel like they lost the love of their life and I, with this, it's a lot, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, feeling like maybe they've had a stroke of bad luck. In the near future, they are daydreaming a lot about you. They are wishing that the two of you could come back together. This person is just going to focus on their work right now. They're going to focus on their money to try to overcome the situation. But overall, they do still feel like things are very unfinished between the two of you because they still have this energy of feeling like they're in love with you, but they can't be with you. All right, Virgo. All right, Virgo, no contact. What is your person's energy? Virgo. What is Virgo's person's energy? Okay, so we have between the lines, secret crush and proposal. Okay, so Virgo, so this person maybe felt like in the recent past that they kind of speculated that things were going to go a certain way. And in the present moment, they're really crushing on you still, even though you're in separation. In the future, they're hoping that the two of you could come back together, that you could have some type of, that they would get some type of love offer. I don't know if you guys talked about um, the future or talked about maybe having a relationship, maybe having family living together, or that's what you wanted, not necessarily with each other, but that's what you're looking for. But this person kind of speculated that things were gonna be so much more than what they were. So let's find out here, yeah. Maybe in the recent past, you just grew bored of this connection. And in the present moment, you are really of this energy of just wanting to possibly just walk away. And this person feels you walking away. They feel that energy. In the near future, this person is still desiring to be with you. They are kind of conflicted if this is a connection that's going to be able to come back around. We do have that world in reverse, so I do feel like things are not completely over, but there is no communication right now. In the future, this person is still going to desire to have some type of relationship or commitment, but they're not going to take any action, Virgo. Libra. All right, Libra. Let's see, what is the person you're not in contact with? What is their overall energy, Libra? Okay, so we have new love, addiction, and hookup. Okay, so Libra, this person, maybe this was somebody new that you had met. They became maybe obsessive, very addicted to your energy, wanting to be around you, but maybe you recognize that this person was a little bit toxic. As far as um, the hookup, maybe this was just a casual relationship. They thought it was just a casual relationship, and maybe they thought that the two of you were going to continue to be intimate together. So let's see what happened in the recent past. Libra. Yeah, this person really just was kind of being very um, childlike, just kind of taking it one day at a time, thinking no big deal. As far as their current energy, they're a little bit hurt and disappointed. Even though maybe they told you they were okay with the hookup situation, that is actually not what they wanted. They kind of became obsessed with wanting so much more. In the near future, they are wanting things to change. They want things to progress and move forward. You do see that Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck that is being hidden. So this person may try to come towards you in a very direct fashion of trying to clear the air. And I am hearing the train, so they could be coming in really, really fast. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let's see the person you're not in contact with. What is their overall energy? Divine intervention. Magnetic attraction and family. Okay, so this person feels like whatever happened between the two of you happened really rapidly, rapidly and they did not expect it. This person thought that the two of you really had a close companionship, that the, both of you were maybe attracted to each other and maybe were allured to each other because you both wanted the same thing. Let's see what happened in the recent past, Scorpio. 
Okay, so this person might have been very aggressive with their approach when it came to this. In the present moment, you feel like they lied to you. You felt like maybe they were just completely dishonest or maybe they felt like you were dishonest with them. In the near future, they're wanting to take a leap of faith and start over. They're wanting to kind of put it all out there and be able to let you know what they're thinking. Yeah, they do want to try to come back together. They want to try to heal the separation and come out of no contact. If they can't be with you, they at least want to be able to heal the connection and maybe have final closure. Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, let's see the person you're in no contact with. I'm hearing you need to change. Sagittarius, what is your person's no contact? Unfinished big business, magnetic attraction, and single. Okay, so Sagittarius, this person feels like things are not over. That there, maybe this is a repeated cycle with the two of you where you do break up, you come back together, but they are feeling very drawn to you on a magnetic level. So they could feel like they're either lusting to come towards you or they could actually feel that there is a soul contract between the two of you. They are feeling alone that the two of you are not in contact. They're feeling a little bit guarded. Maybe they don't want to spend time with other people since the two of you have been in silence because they've been thinking a lot about it. So let's see what happened in the recent past. Okay, so something happened where this person felt completely defeated. So there could have been a disagreement. Maybe there was um, a situation where you weren't actually in a relationship. They wanted a relationship, but you didn't. And they started to have really strong romantic feelings and emotions for you. And maybe you told them, I don't want a relationship. And this person is in the recent past felt very defeated in the present moment they are working on trying to be more desirable trying to work up their courage and strength to figure out who they are as a person in the near future they do want to try to come in and heal the situation this is somebody who is coming out of this wounded woe is me energy maybe wanting to try to do the right thing and at least have a conversation with you capricorn Let's see, the person you're not in contact with, what is the overall energy? What is their overall energy, Capricorn? Heartbreak. Somebody's hurt, upset about some type of betrayal or disappointment when it comes to the connection, relationship, and faded meeting. Okay, so Capricorn, this person is feeling like the two of you met when you met because it was fate, that this was supposed to be fate. And this is somebody in the recent past, they were really hurt and disappointed with this connection. So let's see what happened in the recent past. Okay, so this is an energy of this person maybe felt like they had to put their guard up because maybe there was not enough communication, but they felt like betrayed or they felt disappointed and they had to put their guard up. In the recent energy or in the current energy, this person wants to try to gain some type of stability. They want to have a conversation. They, be, they want to come back together. Or they want to have some type of stability or commitment. They're still loyal and dedicated to this connection, even though you're in no contact. As far as the near future, this is somebody who wants to put the past in the past. They want to let the problems go and they want to try to move towards the future. But you do see that they are bringing that baggage from the past into the future. Even though they do feel that this is a faded connection, they're not going to reach out and say anything in the near future. They are just going to try to keep moving, but they do still feel that things are not settled because they do feel like this was a destined encounter for them to come across in their life. Aquarius. I just heard a bird, so Aquarius, you could be getting news from this person you're not in contact with. Okay, we have family, surrender, and legal matters. So Aquarius, this could be somebody that you are already married to. Maybe you're in legal separation. Maybe you're going through a divorce with this person. You don't have to be married. You could just been with this person for a very long time. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, Aquarius, so in the recent past, we had family, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely somebody that you could be married to in legal separation. This person maybe wanted things to be fair and equal, and they weren't. In the present moment, we do have that justice and wanting to make things right. We also have clarifying that with the Six of Pentacles. So this person wants this situation to be equal and balanced. 
And in the near future, we do see um, surrender as the near future actions is clarified with that Knight of Wands. So this is somebody who is passionate about letting things go, letting the past go, and being able to move forward in the future. This is somebody, they're not going to really reach out to you and have communication, but they do want to be able to surrender to what's happening in this connection and continue to have no contact. Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see the person that you're not in contact with. What is their overall energy, Pisces? Okay, so we have third party, truth, and storm warning. Okay, so Pisces, this person feels like there is third party interference here that maybe you are cheating, you're with someone else, but you're not wanting to be honest and truthful about that's why you're in no contact. They want you to reveal what the truth is. They want you to tell there's that third party coming up again. And then we have this drama or the storm warning, this major obstacle because of it. So let's clarify here. The recent past, Pisces, this third party is clarified by the Six of Swords. So this person maybe felt like you and them maybe got into a fight and you resolved everything and everything was good, but then you went and outside the connection and received somebody else's attention. The present moment, they're not taking any action towards you, but they are manifesting this connection. And they are manifesting this truth here. They want you to be honest with them and be honest telling them or revealing to them that there was a third party or that you did go outside the relationship. In the near future, this is somebody who is going to have to learn to let it go. Even though this was a major loss to this person with that storm warning, this is a very traumatic thing for this person. They are recognizing that maybe it is over. They're not going to open up the lines of communications. They're going to stay silent, but they are going to secretly still try to manifest for you to come towards them and tell them what the truth is. Okay, bye.